Hey, Newbie Dan here, and this is a Newbie Tool Tip about calipers. Newbie Tool Tips are short videos that bullet point some of the features and uses of a specific tool or group of tools. They're not intended to be in-depth reviews, and they're not sponsored by anyone. Calipers are great for accurately measuring all sorts of things. With the outside jaws, they can measure the outside of things. With the inside jaws, they can measure the inside of things. With the depth bar, they can measure the depth of things. They can measure round things outside and inside. They can even measure the thickness of the shaft of a screw. Have a drill bit but don't know its size? How about a hex key? Need to transfer a measurement? I'm working on a project where I had to cut something to match the height of my fence rail. No problem. Measure the height. Lock the caliber to the height by turning the lock screw. Use the bar to set the width of the cut and cut away. How about finding the difference between measurements? Math? Pshaw! Measure the first thing and press the zero button. Measure the second thing and it shows a difference. Every workshop should have at least one set of calipers. And two are even better. The one I've been showing is digital. It shows decimal values, fractions, and metric. But what if you want to know the measurement to the next closest sixteenth of an inch? You can try and figure it out from this or this. Or you could get a fractional dial caliper like this. It shows both fractional imperial values and metric values. You read the whole numbers here and the fractional portion here. See how easy it is to see the next sixteenth, or in this case, eighth? That's why I like this caliper. It has the same features as the digital one, with outside jaws, inside jaws, depth bar, and a locking screw. To zero the dial, unscrew the bezel locking screw and turn the bezel to zero. The only thing the digital caliper has that the dial caliper doesn't is a USB port that most of us will never use anyway. Oh, and the digital caliper also has a chart on the back to convert from fractions to decimal and back. The font's pretty small, but if you can read it, it's actually kind of useful sometimes. If I had to choose only one, I'd pick the decimal caliper, but having them both is the best of both worlds. I have links in the description below for both of these calipers, and both of them come with sturdy cases. You don't want these banging around in the bottom of your toolbox without protection. The digital caliper comes with two watch-style batteries, each of which is supposed to last two years. The dial caliper doesn't need batteries. So that's the end of this tip. If you think this has been a high caliper video, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks!